Right. Stupid deagle. Well, we're taking a look at this blunderbuss. I went to the store today and got the uh, flint for it. 35 bucks later. What they say about boats being a big hole in the water? Anyway, had to buy some new powder. This is for the pan there. It's a 4F, which I guess is a finer powder. I guess we'll take a look at that in a second. And then I bought this piece of flint. And then this packaged flint, which is shaped, I guess, which is important, they said. And then these little pieces of leather. Hey, isn't it nice to know that when you buy stuff like this, it's made in the USA. So that's a bunch of little strips of leather of various thicknesses and kinds, I suppose. So, uh, depending on, I guess, what you're using. It's not quite the same as the others. These are sort of shaped. And I guess you want a square as possible hit with your striker plate there. I'll just pick a medium piece of leather here. And the top of the lock here is a screw, so that'll open up this little clamp. And we'll just put the piece of flint in there. So it just sort of fits in there square. And then we tighten the screw back down. I need to get some really old screwdriver for this, I suppose. And now when we pull that hammer back, drop this plate down with the rough texture there. Let's see if we pull the trigger if we get a spark. Huh, looks like it. Looks like we didn't break the flint too bad or anything. We kicked up the plate. I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing. I assume it's probably a bad thing. But uh, let's tighten it up and try it again. I look like Spark again. Well, I'm not one for waiting around, so let's throw some of this 4F powder on there. I've got no idea how much to use. That's what it looks like. Very fine powder. So if in doubt, use about half of what you're thinking. And maybe we'll half that as well. So, I don't know. An amount is going to be put in here. We've got some in there now. Drop this down. Hey, watch this. Hmm. Didn't do nothing. Try it again. It stayed in the pan, though. Maybe there's a little bit more to this. Nah, must be easy. Okay, so there's a little flash. Who knows if that was dumb luck though, right? Let's try that again. I think that looked like about the right amount. Get it right up to the hole there. powder out of the way. All right, here goes nothing. Try a second time. Hmm. Try adjusting that a little bit. Not sure that would have done it.
There we go. Boy, that stuff flashes up pretty fast, doesn't it? Alright, well, that's what it looks like. I guess the next step, I can see some smoke coming through the hole when I do this to the end. Let's uh, put something down in there. Make sure we're getting that flame right through the hole. Bring out my little box of goodies here. And I guess you use triple F powder on the inside. I don't know. There must be a reason why. And we'll just put a dab in there. Just so we have something to prove that it's going off in there. Then let's put this stuff away. This powder. This is what I use for my little cannon. Hmm. Whole lot of smoke came out of there. Seemed like a bigger flash, so. Really gonna need, I, I guess we should probably take this out to the range to test it further. But it looks like we are getting the action to work. Definitely need to work on getting that flint uh, to square up a little bit better with the strike face here. And then uh, maybe we will try out these other types of flints. That's the uh, blunderbuss part two. And uh, looks like it's in good working order. Next step is take it out and give it even more powder. Thanks for watching. The guys and gals at gunwebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year. Practice at least once a month and carry every day. Thanks for watching gunwebsites.com.